is Pastor Woody Elmore here, and uh, I'm going to get my marriage video out. I usually do this first thing in the morning, but today I had a very busy schedule helping my wife, taking her different places that she's had to go, and um, she had uh, various doctor's appointments and stuff, and so we just finished up, and so here I am. Uh, it's very, very cold outside, and so I'm dressed warm and uh, absolutely loving my uh, Indigi Strong clothing line here. This is uh, my niece's clothing line, and I ordered some various shirts and um, hats and sweats and everything. Um, it's really awesome. And uh, so it's all indigenous owned. So when you buy from her, you're supporting a Native American business. Praise the Lord. And uh, so anyways, I'm going to get started uh, with this little devotion today, and today's devotion I titled, uh, Follow Your Heart or Lead Your Heart. The choice is up to you. I want to tell you today that many people follow their heart. Many people have been given marriage advice, follow your heart, follow your heart, do this, do that, do what you want, um, which is, it sounds really good, but it's not good at all. Because Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse number 9, the Bible tells me the heart is uh, deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. He says, who can know it? Okay, the following scripture says, but the Lord searches our hearts. He knows the depths of our heart. And this is not just talking about people that don't go to church or, you know, you think of, you know, do what you want out there. But this is talking about people that are even in the faith. St. Mark chapter 7, verse number 21 and 22, the Bible tells us, now this is the master teacher talking, Jesus Christ. So the Bible says, from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, and foolishness. So this is Jesus Christ talking talking here and he's not talking about the sinners he's not talking about people that don't believe he's talking to those that believe okay so there's a struggle within our hearts okay jeremiah said the heart is deceitful above all things desperately wicked even jesus is saying look at your heart okay there's evil thoughts adulteries fornications you know wickedness blasphemy foolishness pride and evil eye he names off 13 things those are the 13 steps into the heart of men and so if you're relying on follow my heart follow your heart it's going to take you down some roads that's not very good foolishness pride these things are destructive in a marriage pride is absolutely a killer in a marriage always wanting your way always wanting the last word uh, it, it's very terrible um adulteries fornications evil thoughts all these things come from within the bible says uh, of your heart and so these things can really be bring a lot of devastation to a marriage relationship so Either you follow your heart or you're going to lead your heart. My encouragement for you today is to lead your heart. You are in control. Okay? You control what you think. You control your behavior. See what as a, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, that's the way he's going to live. That's the way he will respond. That's the way he's going to perceive everything around him. That's why the Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence. Okay, so you need to guard your heart, guard what you think, guard what goes on inside here, inside of your heart, your, your mind, guard it, because that's the way you're going to respond to your spouse, you people that talk with and interact, that's how you're going to respond. Okay, so it's very important to lead your heart. Many times um, in a marriage relationship, uh, you may not feel like saying thank you, feel like being nice at the moment, but let's just say on your birthday, your spouse buys you gifts and showers you with good things and you feel like saying thank you, I had a great day, thank you, I love you so much. But then on the days that uh, is not a special occasion, you don't say those things and you don't treat them special. You may not treat them uh, like they did great things for you okay well you can follow your heart and not say anything and only say things when you're overwhelmed with kindness and they do things for you or you can lead your heart to share those things anyway 
to show appreciation anyway. You can lead your heart to be kind and say thank you and be polite and use good manners, good morals. Okay, you need to lead your heart to do those things anyway. Even if you're and your spouse are not seeing eye to eye, maybe a little bit of fog, maybe a little bit of anger, aggression, you still have the choice to lead your heart to be kind to them, to be good to them, speak good things, think well of them, okay? Don't let your mind go off on now uh, foolishness and how you're better off without them or how they never do anything and you have to do everything don't think of the negative things and let foolishness go on and on in your mind. Take control of your thoughts. Lead your heart. After you begin to lead your heart, you will have good actions to follow. See, as you think in your heart, that's the way you're going to behave. That's the way you're going to act. You're going to live. So if you highly esteem your spouse, even in the privacy of your thoughts, in your mind, it will cause you to show much appreciation, to honor them, to highly esteem them. You will begin to, uh, your actions will line up to the way you think of them. Because if you value them and you think highly of them, you're going to respect them and honor them and treat them as such. So don't just follow your heart, lead your heart. Okay, so that's my encouragement for you today. Lead your heart. Okay, I'm going to pray. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful, Father God, for today. We are so thankful, Father God, in all that you are doing. God, I pray that you just encourage people, God, to think highly of their spouse. Think highly of their family. Esteem them. Encourage them, Father God. Help them to encourage one another, Father. Build one another up to think greatly of one another, Father God. I pray, Lord, that you just strengthen the marriage unit, strengthen the family, strengthen the structure of the family father god i pray in jesus mighty name we give you all the praise and the glory thank you jesus amen praise the lord so again this is pastor woody elmore here on marriage on the rock ministry and i just want to say god bless you amen.